today we are going to learn topic 6.4 solving simple trigonometric equations. So if you are given an equation involving trigonometric function, for example I am taking a question from exercise 6d. So look at this equation cos theta equals half. They want you to solve this equation. So I want you to keep your calculator in degree mode and find theta here, cos inverse of half. Cos inverse of half will be 60 degree. That means that's the solution of this equation. So theta is 60 degree. That's the solution of this trigonometric equation. But is it the only solution for this equation? So in order to understand this better, we are going to look at the cosine graph. So let's take the cosine graph. The cosine graph is a symmetrical graph starting from 1. This will be the graph cos x. x, y origin. This is a graph cos x. And take the graph y equals half because it's a point of intersection of these two graphs. So when you take y equals half and this one y equals cos x. Now the 60 degree is this solution, the point of intersection, right? The corresponding x coordinate is 60 degree. But if you look at the graph, this is not the only solution. It has several point of intersection. In fact, it has infinite point of intersection. But when we plug in into our calculator, we get only one value because your calculator gives you the the value which is closest to the origin. So you get only 60 degree. It doesn't mean that that's the only solution. It has infinitely many solutions. So if you want to solve a trigonometric equation, we need, we need a range of x values. For example, let's say the range is from here to this is 90, 180, 270, 360. Let's say they want you to find the solutions between 0 degree to 360 degree. That means we have two point of intersection in between this limit or in other words we have two solutions. That's why it's very important to know the range. That's why whenever you have a trigonometric equation you will always be given a range. It's not always 360 degree. It can be minus 360 to 360 or 0 to 540 or minus 180 to 190 in terms of radians or in terms of uh, degree. So we need a range so we can find the number of solutions between this given range. And in fact, you are not supposed to use the graphical method because if you go through past papers, it's clearly stated there on top. Using graphical method is not allowed. So we cannot, you cannot completely rely on graphical method. We are going to learn one more method on how to solve these trigonometric equations. So here what I am trying to say, you will have, if you want to use graphical method, this is 60 degree. This difference is, uh, should be 30 degree because this is 90. So definitely this point is 270, this will be 300 degree. So you can find the solutions using graphical method. But we are not going to use graphical method here. There is another step. I'm going to explain the method. There is another method. I'm going to explain the method step by step very clearly. So when you have a trigonometric equation, take a look at the limit. You will be always given something like this, a limit. It can be anything, any limit. Don't worry about it. Sometimes it can be negative also. So the first step, Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. That's the default mode we use. If it's in radians, change it to radian mode. Now find the theta value. You get 60 degree. That's not a solution. That's called principal value. Some people call it critical value. So that's the principal value. You find theta equals cos inverse 1 over 2. Now I'm going to write one more question here parallelly. What if this number is a negative number? Maybe let's say you have another question where cos theta is negative half. The limit is the same. 
Okay, I want you to listen to me very carefully. The method I'm going to teach here is going to be slightly different from your textbook method. It's not the textbook method. Here you find the principal value by finding cos inverse. If this number is negative instead of positive, I want you to ignore the negative sign and find the principal value which will be the same 60 degree. That's the principal value. So you see, in your textbook they have included this negative sign also when they find cos inverse. But in my method, I'm going to neglect the negative sign. Just find cos inverse of this number, the absolute value of this number. So you'll get 60 degree. So you will get the same principal value here and here. That's your step number one. And step two, you need to draw a STC diagram. So if you ask me, there is no marks for this diagram. But if you want to get the answer correct, I want you to practice by drawing a little diagram, ASTC diagram, and look at the limit. Our limit is 0 to 360, starting from 0, 180, 360 degree. So this 360 degree covers all the four quadrants. So I want you to find the quadrant where your cos theta is positive. This term is positive. So I want you to look, find the quadrant where your cos theta is positive. Cos theta will be positive here and here. So the corresponding angle here is theta. Here it's 360 minus theta. If you ask me how I got this, that's the first thing we learned in, in this chapter. So the theta is the principal value. So theta on 360 minus theta. So your two answers will be 60 degree and 300 degree. That's how you solve it. That's the method. In fact, we get the so same solution when we use a graphical method also. Step one, find the principal value. Step two, draw ASTC diagram. I'm gonna do that for this question. Draw the ASTC diagram. The limit given here is 0 to 360, 0 to 360 degree, this is 190 degree. So this limit covers all the four quadrants. Now in this case, cos theta is negative. So you have to find the quadrant where cos theta is negative, here and here, second and third quadrant. In this second quadrant, the angle is 180 minus theta, here it's 180 plus theta. So in this case, the theta is the principal value, which is 60. So 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta. That's the solution. So this is how we are going to solve these trigonometric equations. They are not going to ask you to solve a simple trigonometric equation. You will get harder trigonometric equation, but the method is the same. I have taken two more questions here. I'm going to solve them one by one. Let's look at this question. Sin 4 sine theta is negative 3. Bring the 4 to the other side first. So you'll get a proper trigonometric equation. Negative 3 over 4. The limit is given in radians. So keep your calculator in radian mode and find the principal value. And again, when you find the principal value, ignore the negative sign. So it's sine inverse of 3 over 4. It's 0 0.848 radians. That's the principal value. That's not the original solution. Now step 2, draw a STC diagram. And our limit is 0 to 2 pi, which covers all the four quadrants. Find the quadrant of these four quadrants. Look at the quadrant where your sine theta is. Sine theta is negative. Negative. So sine theta will be negative here and here. So the theta here is, in terms of radians, it will be pi plus theta, 2 pi minus theta. I have explained all this thing in the first, first topic of this chapter. So go watch the video. I have asked you to draw four diagrams where I explain this thing very clearly. So your solution is theta is pi plus this value and 
2 pi minus this value. So theta is 3.99 radians, 5.44 radians. That's the solution for this trigonometric equation between this limit. So before I move on to the next question, I'd like to explain something here. When you consider the limit, you have to be very careful about this sign. It has to be less than or equal to. Here also you see less than or equal to. If it is just less than, this is how they are going to trick you in certain cases. In this question, if you look at the solution, we don't have zero, so that's completely fine. For example, you have this limit, but the equation is, let's say, sine theta is zero. Sine theta is zero, theta is sine inverse of zero is zero. So when you find the final solutions, theta will be, sine will be zero, zero, pi, or two pi. We have three solutions, but they say zero is less than theta. That means theta should be greater than zero. You are not supposed to take this value. You have only two solutions. That's why you need to be very careful about this symbol. Now there is another question 5b, but I have changed the limit a little bit just to explain the negative limits. So first step, find tan theta. Tan theta is 15 over 5. Now find principal value, tan inverse of 15 over 5. Use your calculator in radi uh, degree mode. So theta is 61.93 degree. Now step two, draw the ASTC diagram. So when you have negative and positive limit, split them into two. You can take it from negative 180 to zero and zero to 180. So first take the Negative limit, you need to go clockwise direction. This is zero, this will be negative 180, zero to negative 180. It covers two quadrants. You need to find the quadrant where your tan theta is positive. So it's here. In here, the angle is negative 180 plus theta. So theta is negative 180 plus principal value. And when you take the positive limit 0 to 180, this is 0 to 180 which covers the quadrants 1 and 2 and tan theta will be positive only here, so it's theta, 61.93 degree. So you get minus 118.07 or 61.93, two values. So what I'm trying to say here, when you have a negative limit and positive, take them separately and find the solutions. This question is also taken from the same exercise. Whenever they ask you to solve a trigonometric equation, the trigonometric equation must consist of a single trigonometric function. You cannot have more than one trigonometric function. So the first step is to convert them into a single trigonometric function. So you have sine and cos, you divide everything by cos theta. You'll have root 3 sine theta over cos theta is cos theta by cos theta is 1. Sine over cos can be written as tan theta is 1 over root 3. Bring the root 3 here. That's your first step. Always convert the equation into a single trigonometric function. And then we know how to solve this. I have changed the limit to 3 pi just to explain this. So step number one, find the principal value tan inverse of 1 over root 3 in radian mode. You get pi over 6 radians. Now draw the ASTC diagram. The limit is 0 to 3 pi. That's basically one and a half circle. So first take from zero to two pi. Zero to two pi covers all the four quadrants. Your tan theta will be positive. It's a positive number. Tan theta will be positive at first quadrant and the third quadrant. Here it's theta. Here it's pi plus theta. 
So your solution will be theta, which is the principal value, and pi plus theta. And you have to simplify it. We are not done it because our limit is 0 to 3 pi. We are at 2 pi now. And from 2 pi now you need to go all the way to 3 pi again. So don't worry about all this. Only look at the, the semicircle here that covers the both the quadrant 1 and 2. And tan theta will be positive here. In this case, now we are not starting from 0. We are starting from 2 pi. So the angle will be 2 pi plus theta here. That's the third solution. So your solutions are pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 12, 13 pi over 6. You will have three solutions. In this question also we do the same thing. First convert the trigonometric functions into a single trigonometric function by dividing throughout by cos theta. So we'll have root 5 sine theta over cos theta plus root 2 cos theta cos theta will be cancelled equal 0. So this is tan theta. Bring the root 2 here. Tan theta is root 5 tan theta is negative root 2. Tan theta is negative root 2 over root 5. That's our step 1. Convert them, convert the given equation into a single trigonometric function. And then find the principal value. Again remember this, if you are following my method, when you find the principal value, ignore the negative sign. Just find the principal value using the positive number. So you get 32.31 degree. That's the principal value. That's not a solution. Now, next step, draw a STC diagram. Our limit is 0 to 540. First take 0 to 360. And your tan theta will be negative. Now we consider the negative sign when we go to a STC diagram. Tan theta will be negative here and here. So it's 180 minus theta, 360 minus theta. Your solutions are 180 minus the principal value, 360 minus the principal value. And then our limit is 540. So now we need to start from 360. 360 plus 180 is 540. This is 540 now. We are starting from 360 now. In this case, tan will be positive, tan will be negative here. This is not 180 minus theta anymore. The new theta is, new angle here is 540. So 540 minus theta. 540 minus the principal value. Simplify them, that's the final answer. 147.69 degree, 327.69 degree, 507.69 degree. That's how you solve it.